A family of seven, including five non-adult girls, moves into their new secluded home. What could possibly go wrong? The Conjuring. The Conjuring tells the story of these paranormal investigators and the one case that they did not want to reveal until now. <laughs> Man, even the synopsis is kind of scary. So there's a family who shifted into a new home which is infested with a demon and these investigators go to see just what's happening. I think the scariest thing about the movie is that it's based on a true story. The events are far more bizarre than those of Argo, but I think James Wan did a great job of making the film feel real and more importantly scared the shit out of you. I gotta say that The Conjuring really got to me. Oh boy. Clap. I'm gonna get you now. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> you took your blindfold off. I win. I was in Christine and Nancy's room. Girls, it's way past your bedtime. I must admit that the film does take a while to get going. The beginning is slow, and you actually do get some interesting characters at that point in time, including the investigators. The Warrens are demonologists or paranormal investigators, and they actually have a good amount of depth to them. You know how the cases in the past have affected them, what they believe in, and how they basically go about things in their life. We're also introduced to the parents' family who start to figure out what's going on in their home. They're afraid, and they need to call the Warrens to sort stuff out. They're there's also a lot of exposition regarding demonic activity through lectures that the Warrens give and you start to understand more about the motivations and the stages that these events occur in. While the movie takes a good amount of time to get to the main chunk of it, I still thought that The Conjuring really delivered by the end of it and it turned out to be really satisfying. I think the main reasons that I enjoyed this film is due to director James Wan and some good writing. The film is written by the Hayes brothers and they did a good job of keeping the film on track. It rarely wavers off point and the flow is pretty consistent. Also there's no cheesy dialogue and the characters are relatable which is refreshing to see especially for a horror film. The film is also brilliantly directed. Hats off to James Wan for having come so far from the Saw franchise. The fact is that the film is scary not because of gore or constant darkness, but merely due to tension building and anticipation. No need for jump scares because quick editing, great writing, and smart direction are the main reasons that I feel that The Conjuring really triumphed. <laughs> Overall, The Conjuring is one of the scariest and best horror films that I've seen in the past couple of years. I didn't want to spoil anything in my review, so I tried to keep it as minimal as possible. It's certainly one of the films that I'm going to remember, and one that will be remembered in the years to come. On a scale from a triple no to a triple yes, I'm going to give the film a double yes. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. And now... Here's a demon. She made me do it.
She made me do it. Now you must do it. You must subscribe.